Hi, I'm Renalini Lowe, General Manager for Apps on Google Play, and I've got five minutes to cover five of the biggest updates from Play. We'll cover the latest tools and features that help grow and engage your audience, create best-in-class experiences, and level up monetization and safety on Google Play. After this video, be sure to check out the full details on all of this and much more in the blog post we've linked in the video description below. And with that, let's put five minutes on the clock. Time to get geared up and knock this out. Five great big updates in just five minutes. Ready, set, and go. First up, we have custom store listings. These are a great way to increase installs and conversions, and you can create up to 50 of them. You can use screenshots, videos, descriptions, and icons for all the audience segments listed here. Yeah! We've also made lots of updates to make creating these listings even easier, including the ability to keep track of all your listings with new store listing groups, save your listings as a draft that you can edit later on, and now you can schedule your listings to publish when you want and for the duration that you choose. You can now even test your listings with a limited percentage of your audience to make sure they're resonating before rolling them out. Okay, that's custom store listings. We're moving and grooving. Hit me. On to part two, deep links. Whether you're looking to improve engagement within your app or you're super excited to showcase a new experience in your game, deep links can send your users directly to the relevant page in your app. From there, they can do what they want. Check out content, book a trip, or level up their status in a game, all seamlessly. Visit the Deep Links page in Play Console to make deep linking even more impactful. For example, you can link your AdWords account to your Play Console account. That way, you can check if landing pages from your ad campaigns are deep linked. Or you can see top performing URLs that are not yet deep linked, showcasing opportunity to reach even more users. Plus, you have two new metrics, so you can now see how effective your setup is. One, deep links coverage shows the percentage of top URLs that are already deep linked. And two, user reach shows what percentage of users that followed a URL and opened it within your app versus remaining on the web. To help you validate your deep links, we've also added a simple way to compare your app versus your web experience for a given URL side by side. I mean, this is so cool, right? Creating the best-in-class user experiences requires raising your technical quality bar. Uh, not that kind of bar. So we've improved Android Vitals and brought more convenience to viewing Vitals data so you can monitor your app against per-device quality thresholds. Now you can more effectively manage, prioritize, and debug issues before your users even feel them. Now you can see hourly Vitals data via the Play Developer Reporting API and in Play Console. This lets you monitor changes after release or quickly detect and troubleshoot incidents if they occur. Android Vitals metrics are now extended to include the past three years of data. That's a huge bump. Vitals is also now more visible from directly within Android Studio as part of App Quality Insights. So now you can jump from stack trace to code and debug stability issues with ease. New bad behavior notifications that you can opt into that makes staying up to date on any emerging issues easier than ever. Lastly, Android Vitals now gives you insights and potential fixes for crashes and ANRs to help you focus on the most important issues, including notes from third-party SDK developers. Okay, moving on to monetization. It's all about the Benjamins. Monetizing on Play is easier than ever, and today all eligible developers enrolled in user choice billing can offer an alternative billing system right alongside Google Play's. And now the alternative billing APIs, which streamline the developer experience, are available to participating developers serving users in over 35 markets. API benefits include user choice screens that are rendered by Google Play, simplify transaction reporting that remove manual touchpoint errors, and transactions reported via the API are reflected on Google Play's top charts. How are we doing on time? Still rocking it. Time is money after all. Finally, we're committed to making Google Play the safest place to build your business. Developers have been all over the Play Integrity API since we launched it last year. The API checks that user actions and server requests are genuine helping to prevent abuse, fraud, unauthorized access, and the worst of them all, 
cheating, and games. Uh-uh-uh. We've got low latency play integrity API standard requests. These are now out of beta and available to all developers, giving you integrity verdicts that are 10 times faster. 10 times! That gets two high fives. Then there's a new signal you can opt into for checking whether Play Protect is on or off on a device and whether any malware is detected. And an integrity API report and improved controls in Play Console, helping you to spot issues and adapt your anti-abuse strategy and helping your analysis and breakdown of API responses across your install base. And time. Phew, that's five major updates in under five minutes. Not bad, right? Remember to catch up on all these details and many more in the blog link below. And thanks for watching.